What's going on guys? This is Barker back with another NBA 2K video rebuilding the Charlotte Hornets. Now, <clears throat> for the Charlotte Hornets, also just letting you know my voice is literally being shit on right now, so I'm sorry I sound like an old man dying of asthma, but I can't really control that. So, basically the Charlotte Hornets have an interesting roster because LaMelo Ball is the best player on their team, and he's only 20 years old. The man's younger than me, and he's the best player on the team. And it's crazy to see that because, you know, back in the old days, playing in high school where you drop 100 points, everyone called him overrated. You can't call him overrated anymore. He won Rookie of the Year. It looks like a future star. So backup point guard is Smith. Shooting guard looks solid. Small forward, solid. Power forward, definitely solid. We definitely need a backup center. So what I was thinking is, I don't know how well he would work on the team, but I mean, DeMarcus Cousins, I gotta cut someone or trade him. Okay, one year. <clears throat> Honestly, sign him to a two year. Why not? We get Boogie Cousins. Why, why would I not do this? I'm doing it. Has happily accepted, let's go, okay. So the game plan right now with Cousins looks pretty solid. Ish Smith won't get minutes, but I don't think that's a big deal, to be honest. I, I really like the roster. I do. All our players are basically locked up for next season, or they have a team option, which I love even more. So let's start simulating and see how good LaMelo Ball can do for this team. Okay, I'm back, and we're sucking ass. We are... 25 wins, 31 losses. We're 10th in the conference. Obviously, we can still make a push for the playoffs, which I plan on doing. And the Indiana Pacers aren't that far above us. So we can still sneak into hopefully like a six seed in the playoffs. That's what I'm hoping for and kind of making past the first round. I'm going to have to make some adjustments because like I said, this team is not working. So who I think is underperforming for us is Gordon Hayward. The second option on our team, the veteran, the guy we're paying 30 million a year is averaging under 15 points per game. Terry Rozier, he's a bucket getter. I know 14 isn't the best either, but I'm fine with Terry Rozier averaging 14 because he's going to shoot a lot of three pointers. Gordon Hayward though, 30 million a year, less than 15 points. He's gone. Rest of the players, I like what they're doing. I really have no complaints. Jalen McDaniel is not the best, but he brings some defense, and we kind of need that. Okay, I think I found a trade that I like, and that seems realistic. Basically, we all know Pascal is on the trade block. It's been talked about on all NBA news. Why wouldn't the Raptors, if they're trying to win with Fred Van Vliet and those other guys on the team, why not get Gordon Hayward? And Jalen McDaniels, who's a young, promising young guy. For Yuda, who doesn't do anything for the team. And Pascal Siakam. Now, obviously, Gordon Hayward's a little older. I understand that. But we're giving him a second round pick. I mean, come on. What more realism do you want? And similarity stat-wise, they're pretty similar. I'd say they're basically the same. But the reason why I want this is I think I'm going to move Miles Bridges to small forward and make him the starting small forward for our team. I feel like Miles Bridges and Pascal Siakam can be a good duo. And then PJ Washington off the bench. I like it. I'm doing it. I don't know if it makes the most sense. I'm hoping it does. I'm going to edit Miles Bridges to be a small forward, which nothing changes about him. And then kind of, let, let's see what the roster's looking like. They want to start Kelly Oubre. Not a fan. Not a fan. We are starting Miles Bridges. Kelly Oubre off the bench. And let's make it a nine man. Or actually, Yuda, you don't get minutes. Ish Smith, you get his minutes. There we go. I like this lineup. I would make more changes, but I like that our team's young, and I don't want to fuck that up. So I'm just going to see you at the end of the season, and hopefully we will be in the playoffs 
and not out of the playoffs. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, we completely sucked. Like, completely sucked. I'm not even gonna bother saying the players on this. Who cares? We are not involved. Maybe LaMelo? Nope. No LaMelo. All defensive. No Hornets. All rookie? Do we got a uh, Book Knight anywhere? We got Book Knight on all rookie second team. That's not bad. But uh, as you can see, we didn't make the playoffs. We uh, we sucked. We almost made the play-in, at least. That's promising, I guess. The Wizards went to the finals as an eighth seed. Who, who was on this Wizards team? Uh, let me just see. The normal roster they have. The normal roster they have. As an eighth seed. They went to the finals and took a game from the Lakers in the finals. Okay, 2K. Okay. Hornets. Okay, we have our pick. We have the 10th pick in the draft. That is not bad. So what I'm going to do is trade that pick because it's the last year. I have to make a big move. So let's trade finder. Someone. Maybe DeMarcus Cousins. And the 10th overall pick. Teams may not trade first round picks. Okay. Okay. I guess we are picking. Uh, Jonathan Higgins. Let's see. 2K rank. They have Carson Wood. But he's overseas. Rudy Powers. Rudy Powers. Okay. Rudy Powers. Rudy Powers. Rudy Powers. I feel like I gotta pick Rudy Powers. He's a shooting guard. Which is what we don't need. But I'm picking best available. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. This drafting stash has nine badges? Jesus Christ. Okay. Hold up. Look at overall again. Ceiling Greg Monroe. Ceiling Sydney Moncrief All NBA. The other guy is just Ceiling Greg Monroe. I am picking Rudy Powers. He's 21. Wait, what is. How old is he? He's 22. Oh lord. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. We're picking Rudy Powers. Does it really matter? Probably not. Sure, he's a center. Why not? Sim to end. How good is our player? 76, 74, 76, 72. And then the next guy's the same position, but a 75. Wow, I sold. I sold hard. Oh no, how bad is our second round pick? 70... Our second round pick is the same overall as our first pick. Oh no, I sold hard. I sold really hard. Okay. Oh jeez. Rudy Powers, you better be a legend. So I think I drafted a bust, not gonna lie. Declining Ish Smith, accepting the rest of the guys. Qualifying offers. I guess yes to those guys. Who do I need to re-sign? Bird rights, Miles Bridges. Four years. Yuta Watanabe. You're lucky you're getting a contract. And then who can I afford? No one. I can literally afford no one. Ooh, what is our roster looking like? Lamello, Rogier, Book Knight. Oh no, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Hopefully, Plumley and Cousins don't get worse because they are getting in the older range. Okay, I got a trade here. Demarcus Cousins, Kai Jones, first round pick, Rashawn Holmes. Why would I say no? He's an 80 overall. See what the roster's looking like now. Lonzo, 
Rogier, Bridges, Siakam, Rashawn. So now we have a full 80 plus roster. Lamelo carrying it with the 90. I still feel like we need a little help. Okay, I was looking around the league, looking for players that would fit well next to LaMelo Ball, and who would be a good backcourt option for LaMelo than DeJounte Murray? Who would be better? It would be a perfect fit. He locks down the primary ball handler on the other team, and LaMelo Ball gets to be the guy on offense. I love this. Now I just got to figure out how the hell I'm going to do it. I don't know how willing they're going to be to give me DeJounte Murray, but I will give you the 10th overall pick that I completely fumbled the bag on. You can give me not Trey Jones. Give me... Is anyone on your team? I guess Trey Jones. Okay. Trade failed. Spurs would acquire too much money. Figures. Uh... Give them Vernon, Vernon Carey Jr. And then they give me someone who's making way too much money. Like that guy. And then let's layer on a pick. Come on. Another pick? Come on. There we go. I knew it'd be two picks. Okay. Right now, LaMelo at shooting guard. So let's move LaMelo to a shooting guard. As my cats about kill each other behind me. Come on. Yep, bye-bye. Or maybe do we move... Nah, let's, let's move LaMelo to a shooting guard. Even though it sucks he's not a 90 anymore, it doesn't really matter. I like what the team's cooking up right now. I like it a lot. I'm just gonna sign Isaiah Thomas... Because I have the spot, so why wouldn't I? And then, should I make it a 10-man? Should I give him minutes, is the question. Let's give him minutes, but we're giving him, like, five. And then making DeJounte play the rest, I guess. Okay. I like what we're cooking up. So, I guess we're gonna just go with what we got, and hopefully we can try to win a championship. Okay, I'm back, and we're doing solid. We are doing very solid. So, let me just say, NBA standings, we are fourth in the East, even though we're tied with two other teams. Uh, team stats, if I can find it. I haven't looked at this, so I don't know. Points per game, we're number nine points allowed we're a very good defensive team since we got DeJounte and three pointers made we look like below average okay so what I need to improve on which will hopefully improve our three point shooting it's a guy who's letting us down also first off LaMelo killing it let me see if he became an all star he did become an all-star. Let's go. That's what we like to see. Uh, DeJounte doing good. Siakam, Washington. A lot of people are doing good. Buck Knight, not the best efficiency-wise. And Kelly Oubre is not as well. Isaiah Thomas doing good with his, like, five minutes per game. So I think we need to trade Kelly Oubre. He's shooting 28% from three and four. 41% from the field. That's not cutting it, buddy. So let's get TJ Warren. Honestly, he might start because he's an 82 overall. And let's just see what that does for the team. So Miles Bridges still starts. So we got TJ Warren as a seven man. And I like this team a lot more. I do. Isaiah Thomas is balling. He's shooting 59% from three. Why does this man not have a job? Okay. I'm back. Luka won MVP. Jonathan Higgins, Rookie of the Year. Was that the center that it told me to draft? And I didn't? And he won Rookie of the Year? Okay, I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. He's a 78 overall in his rookie year. You, you just love to see that. Six-man Oladipo, defensive player Giannis. 
most improved Tyrese, coach of the year, Willie Green for the Pelicans. I don't know why, but freaking every single, every single simulation I do, the Pelicans are godlike the second year in every single time, and they make no major changes. All NBA has LaMelo Ball third team. That's what I like to see. All defensive, no one. All rookie, we trade away our rookie. And he's not on all rookie, so it was a good trade. I don't even remember his name, but he's not on there. And we are the four seed. Going up against the Pistons, my favorite team, who has Cade Cunningham and Zach Levine. Ooh. That's a little scary. That is a little scary. But, overall, we have a better lineup. We do. So, let's shorten the rotation, even though I don't want to take away Isaiah Thomas's minutes. I'm going to do it anyways. Let's make it a nine, man. And hopefully this team is good enough to beat the Pistons. So let's simulate play-in. Don't care about the play-in. Bulls made as the 8th seed. And without Zach Levine, clearly. Hornets win first game. Let's go, LaMelo. Triple-double. Game 2, Pistons win. Zach Levine, baller. We win game 3. They win game four. They win game five. Dude, I just shouldn't rebuild teams. I, I really shouldn't. I don't know why I do it. Because this always happens. So, Buck Knight, what are you doing? You're doing really solid in the playoffs. Plumley, you're basically not even playing. Okay, so I guess we're taking away Plumley's minutes. And Rashawn Holmes, you're going to play a lot. I guess. I, I guess. We don't need Mason Plumley. We lost. We, we needed Mason Plumley. How? How do we lose? Bridges! Why are you playing like shit? Buck Knight, I just complimented you. Oh no. Why? DeJounte Murray had a 14 and 14 game with seven assists. That's pretty nice. Jeez. I mean, it, I mean, it is the Pistons. If I had to lose, I'd want to lose to the Pistons. Let's just see who wins it all. The Pelicans. Zion averaging 32 points per game, shooting 66% from the field. I, I just get so unlucky in these. I can't wait to do a Pelicans rebuild because I won't have to change them. I just need to keep Zion and I win a championship. Let me know what you guys thought about the video. Like the video if you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any rebuild challenges you want me to do. And as always, road to 300 subscribers. Peace. Peace.